The Federal is organizing the Kanyakumari Mini Marathon 2024 to commemorate Mother's Day and Nurses Day this year on May 12. This event is sponsored by Repco Home Finance. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi is contesting in two Lok Sabha seats for the upcoming election, Raibarali in UP and Vayanad in Kerala. Rahul had contested from two constituencies in the 2019 Lok Sabha elections as well, Amethi in UP and Vayanad in Kerala. He lost Amethi's seat, though he emerged victorious from Vainad. Rahul Gandhi is not the first candidate to do so. The law allows an individual to contest from two seats simultaneously, both for Lok Sabha and Assembly elections. This practice was common before 1996. Here are some prominent political personalities in Indian history who have contested from two seats at the same time. In 1957, former PM Atal Bihari Vajpayee contested from three seats in Uttar Pradesh, Mathura, Lucknow and Balrampur, winning Balrampur on the Janasang ticket. He contested from two seats again in 1962 and 1991. Former Prime Minister Indra Gandhi had contested from Raibarili and Medak, winning both seats in 1980 Lok Sabha polls. She retained Medak with Arun Nehru winning the subsequent bipole in Raibarili. Veteran BJP leader L.K. Adwani contested from Gandhinagar and New Delhi in 1991 Lok Sabha elections. Sonia Gandhi contested the 1990 Lok Sabha elections from Bellari in Karnataka and Amethi in Uttar Pradesh. She won both seats but chose to represent Amethi. In 2014, Prime Minister Narendra Modi won from both Varanasi in UP and Vadodara in Gujarat. He opted to represent Varanasi. Former Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister N.T. Rama Rao also used to contest from multiple seats in the assembly elections. So who allows a candidate to contest from two seats? Is it the Indian Constitution or the Election Commission? It is Section 33.7 of the Representation of the People Act 1951 which allows a candidate to contest from two seats. However, he has to vacate one of the two if he wins both. Following this, by-elections are conducted for the vacant seat. On the other hand, Section 70 bars candidates from representing two constituencies in the election. Prior to 1996, there was no bar on the number of constituencies one can contest from. In 2023, advocate Ashwini Upadhyay petitioned the Supreme Court to declare Section 33 invalid, arguing that since one person, one vote is the principle of Indian electoral system, so should be one candidate, one constituent. The petitioner also argued that the bipoles lead to financial burden on the government and the public exchequer. But the court chose to leave the issue to the wisdom of the parliament. The Election Commission of India has on many occasions proposed a change in this provision. In 2004, the then Chief Election Commissioner also proposed an amendment in Section 33.7 putting forth the same argument. In case of no amendment, he suggested that a candidate contesting from two constituencies would bear the cost of the bipoles from the seat that he decides to vacate in case of winning both. The Election Commission then said that the candidate contesting from two seats simultaneously should deposit an amount of Rs 5 lakh for Assembly polls and Rs 10 lakh for Lok Sabha polls. The Federal is organizing the Kanyakumari Mini Marathon 2024 to commemorate Mother's Day and Nurses Day this year on May 12. This event is sponsored by Repco Home Finance. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.